Okay, today we're, yes, I don't have my hat on, but I do have my coffee. All right, today we're going to talk about the future. And yeah, again, <laughs> why? Because you guys want to know the future. Tell me the future. Well, I've got some things for you, but I'm comfortable with sharing these things because they are not in stone in the way other predictions have been by other people. Even Nostradamus and Edgar Cayce has not happened, right? Majority of their stuff hasn't happened. They say, oh, it's accurate, but really isn't. Not with all their predictions because they said we get to decide what it is. And I want to inspire you and let you know that good things are happening. So there are messages. I have shared mine with you for years. I told you when to get ready. I told you to get your house in order. I told you something big was coming just a few months before our little health issue happened. There were so many things that I got you prepared for without telling you exactly what it is because nobody can really know that for sure, okay? Well, maybe there are a few out there, but it's, it's really a moving target. But here's what I want to share with you. There are beings that have shared information about 2026. You know 2024 to 2026, something's happening. I want to share with you what that is. Also today, I want to share what remote viewers have projected in 2040 to 2060. Who knows if I'll be here, but <laughs> some of you are young enough to be here. Why did they pick 2040? That's pretty far out. I'll tell you why, and I'll share my own and how I get that information. You're going to love this. This is a lot of fun. Let's go. Andrea Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. Breakthrough fear is, man, I'm up for an award. Those of you who've read it, you've thank you. You've told me you've read it over and over again, and you get something new. That book, like what I'm going to share with you today, talks about what's happening now and how it's affecting our future. But the entire book has a lot of power in it, by the way. There's a lot of energy, because that was... I say channel, but I was totally present. I wasn't going, mm, what did I say? No, I'd get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'd write for hours, and I was just getting downloads. I want to talk about that because that is information that's accessible by all. And some people, they're more open to that than others. So I want to share that information with you today, including remote viewers. We'll discuss what that is. The book was channeled, and I was receiving information this had to get out and that's why I was writing insane hours it had to get out last year okay at the end of last year just actually you know a couple months ago right because the message was so timely and important what was that message well breakthrough fear means when we end the fear well you don't end it when we break through the fear we accept the journey here holds both the dark and the light when we break through fear, we realize it's not controlling us, it's a choice. We can experience it without allowing it to control us. We're going into a higher frequency. And so what has been projected and predicted, most of it hasn't happened. Well, if it had, Florida would be underwater right now. And that obviously hasn't happened. And California is still uh, hanging in there. And there are a lot of other things that just haven't happened that were supposed to happen years ago. Why haven't they? When we change our frequency and our projection of what the future is, we change the future. All right? Now, we have been in a low density. So we have cause and effect, and we're seeing the effect of the bad choices humans, it's not always been you the person, humans have made up to this point, have done some great damage. And we are living with that. But you're here purposefully at this time to change that. Don't be complaining about it. I wouldn't choose to come here. Well, sorry you did. That's the whole point, to forget what that is. Because if you knew that, this wouldn't be a game. We wouldn't get to experience sadness and fear and anger and all these things. Because we'd be so awake and enlightened, be like, whoop. No big deal, but so then why would we come here? We want to know that. We want to know all facets of feelings. So now what's happened is we, as the whole, that's you and your higher self, and because we are all things all at once, 
is actually deciding that it's time for this planet to go into a higher frequency. So when people predict or project remote viewers see the future, it keeps changing. All right, now there are some people projecting things that are being controlled on the other side. In other words, extraterrestrials, we're talking a lot about this because you guys love the subject, and I do too, to be honest with you. Extraterrestrials are stepping in because as a higher consciousness, we are now opening the door for considering that we have neighbors and we're not freaking out like, you know, little kids hiding under the bed. Well, some people are still doing that. So if somebody came down, oh, I'd love to meet them. Really, if one walked up and they looked really different to us, because some of them do, you would probably freak out. And that's why they don't do it. And this is why they appear as other things. Now, they are not just the physical extraterrestrials. They also go into orbs and all kinds of other forms. Is all part of one thing. We are just at the bottom scale here of density, which means we're very material and you're not going to, this is why we get old and, you know, I wish some of this stuff wouldn't be happening, right? But that's the experience because this isn't me. I'm, you know, going to be 30 years old again, <laughs> uh, you know, when I leave this body and this, we transform constantly, but right now you get to experience this, so enjoy it. This is what it's like to grow older or have physical issues or to lose somebody and think that they're really gone. To be sad. You get to experience all that. So now we're going to higher consciousness and now doors are opening up for us because we are creating the new earth. And this is what the new earth is. Now, because we are choosing to go into consciousness, this is happening. It doesn't take a lot of people to do this. We raise the frequency enough to open the gateways for assistance and some answers and guidance to go into that new earth. Not, not everybody's going to choose it. It is not a collective choice. All right? you, co you contribute collectively, but you, you choose it individually. So if somebody decides they want to stay in, in, in the dark side, they can. It's not neither good nor bad, right or wrong, because they are eternal just as you are. It's just a choice. It's just a journey. So let's allow that. Oh, you're going to be left behind. And of course they're not. <laughs> they're, and nobody gets left behind. They choose to be left behind in a specific illusion, the matrix, in this seemingly timeline. It's just an experience. What do you want? Are you going to get caught up in arguing, this is how things are, I'm going to correct you. No, okay, great, that's true for you, but everything's true, all right? The collective is going to decide some things. 2024, I shared with you last year, I said, we, we, we just went in a tipping point. It's the last chapter in my book. We're in it, all right? No more, oh, big events are coming. I told you, it's already happening. The big split, I talked a lot about that. It's happening. So people are taking sides. I'm in density, I'm going to uh, continue to try and keep us separate, produce fear and project fear on others, and then those of you who are watching the fear, you can't undo that. Once you've seen something, you can't undo it. Don't watch it. Shut the commercials down. You've got to keep your energy field clean because there's a whole split of people that are going to go into the new earth. So between 2024 and 2026, I want to share with you some things. If you guys have been watching Chris Bledsoe, I talk constantly about him because he's telling a lot of things now, more so. He's got more things coming this year. Uh, the lady in blue or whatever, this blonde, beautiful lady, appears to him uh, after he decided he wasn't going to talk about his alien abduction anymore because it was ruining his life and his kids. said, I'm done. But he was meant to share with us that this is real, and he's credible. So we're believing it and saying, well, you know, it's really possible. He's bringing orbs in and a craft fly around when he's there. So he's demonstrating to other people this is real. So people who were skeptical are starting to realize this is the real deal. You know, they have to see it. Everybody has to see it. Right? What happened to faith? Anyways, so he was going to quit and not share this information. And so she appeared and told him, this is your burden to bear. In other words, there was an agreement that he was going to share this with the world to let them know. Why? 
because they're going to make themselves known. We know this. They've already have been doing it more and more and more. And it's not just because we have cell phones and stuff now. It's because they really are showing up more. What does that mean? They're letting us know that they're there and they haven't done anything bad to us. In fact, they've stopped uh, you know, missiles from uh, firing off. They've done all, demonstrated that they are going, not going to allow us to blow ourselves up. And I think it's an amazing thing. It means, hey, it's time to go into peace. We're not going to allow this. It's time we're going to step in. They do have their limits. We still get to choose. You get to choose if you want to go to hell in a handbasket. It's okay if you want to live in fear. Go ahead and experience it. It's not very pleasant, but maybe you want to do that. That's all right. But you don't have to because amazing things are happening. Abundance, health, joy, passion and compassion. What is happening is when you put it out there, you get such great satisfaction and you receive that which you give. So now we become the light in a dark world that will shift if we continue to stay in that space. The lady in blue um, that came to him said there will be a knowledge that will be shared. A knowledge. Didn't say what it was. It could be anything. His gut feeling is that it's going to be an awakening of some kind. What does that even mean and why? I think the knowledge is that we aren't this. And I think people are actually going to go into that space that's right here in the room, that's filled with other intelligences. You know, we think of ourselves as individuals and there's a ghost and there's... No, it's, it's all one beautiful energy field and just appearing as different things and transitions. And that's what's happening. There will be a knowledge between now and especially 2026. Right, we've got two years. Now, I shared with you guys, I said, get your house in order. Clean up your act clean up what you're eating, clean up your house, get rid of the chemicals, stop using them, uh, simplify your life, quit hoarding and, and going into fear and realize if you live a simpler life, we won't have any of those issues. It's not going to be a big deal. Start operating more like a community. I'm doing that myself here. It's not easy because <laughs> I don't necessarily like to go out there with groups of people, but I did last night. I want you to start doing that. Know your neighbors. Uh, find out their beautiful talents. Help one another. We've got to start doing it now because the future that was projected by remote viewers, those who can see things, they haven't been using that for future. They can see things that are existing in current time, but they have never really used it for the future. They're doing it now. Now, they are seeing big changes in 2040. In other words, something huge is going to happen, but it will none of it included war or nuclear uh, cataclysm. None of it did. No one has seen that, by the way. I'm not sensing it. I sense a series of events that are the planet and also us doing stupid, right? Uh, but what I want you to know is that we're, go we're transitioning right now. This is the tipping point. We're transitioning to a higher thinking and functioning higher as more of, like I said, placing others first. And when you do that, what's going to happen is you benefit greatly. We accelerate our progress on a positive level because the more you're giving, the more you're receiving. And then people realize there's nothing to fear. You never have to fear anyone. If you don't go into compassion for the others and you're still in judgment, you're in a lower frequency and you can stay in that basement and there's a penthouse there that you can't attract. I'm going to attract you. Law of attraction. It's like, no. If it comes down, it won't be the penthouse anymore. You must go up to the penthouse. You have to raise your frequency and go in alignment with that frequency and that reality exists there. It doesn't come down to anybody. You don't attract anything. You shift into it as your choice or not. And that's how people manifest crazy stuff. They don't question it, but we doubt ourselves. We are not in faith and therefore that future continually changes, you know, and it's up to us to raise our frequency. The great knowledge is going to show up. I believe it is. And Chris thinks this too, that uh, we're going to be very aware that the extraterrestrials are beyond just, you know, craft that we see once in a while and that their messages will be known. I believe that's what it is. All right. I told you to get your house in order because you want to start living that new earth life now. And it's a beautiful one. 
It really is. It's just so much, so much nicer and cleaner. Uh, 2040 was big changes in energy. So in other words, we will go do away completely with fuels. And that makes sense. That's, you know, uh, what, 15 years from now? That's not that far away. It will take that long for us to completely stop using fossil fuels. It's going to change the lives of people out there who have tried to control the world with that old stuff. You have to start making decisions on what you use. Yeah, because if you stop using certain things, you put those businesses out of business who don't care about the planet or animals or people. So we have to take control. So 2040 to 2060, apparently that's going to be an absolute huge transitional year. Now, um, Stefan Schwartz, who's a major dude with um, remote viewers, shared this on Jeffrey Mishlove's uh, channel. Who I love him because they're very scientific, but they still go into the paranormal. You know, they just look at it differently. They don't go into this crazy, you know, uh, my mother's a, a purple alien, and you know, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people making stuff up. <laughs> Let's just be really honest. But these guys are pretty scientific, and I think you'll love it because he ran that program for the government for many, many years, remote viewers. So what does this all mean to you? There's a new era kicking in, and I want you to prepare for it because I have sensed that there's something amazing happening right now. It is a choice. I, I can't specify this not enough. Those of you who think there's a future that happens for everyone doesn't understand your power and that there is no one thing. There's endless probabilities. And not all of us experience the same probabilities because free will allows me to live in the new earth and you in fear and density if you choose that. And I, I don't wish that on you. But if you still want to experience that, that's okay. Why? I don't know, but we came here to raise the frequency of the planet. So those of us who are aware of this have got to be steadfast and shine your light. What does that mean? We cannot go into judgment or fear. We can experience it, observe it. Oops, I'm judging again. Oh, interesting how the ego does that. Yeah, I'm going to bring back my little puppet, my ego puppet. Yeah, if you guys remember that a few years ago. Uh, it's a great demonstration that the ego will still be in operation no matter how enlightened you are because it's still part of the experience here. But it is now working in your favor. In other words, it's just here to protect you in a practical world. But we've taken it so far where it's greedy and it's me and I want to protect. So we're breaking through fear. All right, so a great knowledge is coming. We have all kinds of changes on the planet and how we're going to live. We will live in communities. Uh, we're going to be much more giving and sharing. We're going to get away from transporting, you know, food from other countries and stuff. We're going to be locally sustainable and uh, be able to take care of ourselves. And that's going to be a much more powerful way, sort of like we used to live many, many, many years ago as tribes. Although we're not going to be warring anymore, it's going to go into a state of peace. And that will be your choice if you want to participate in this. So get ready because between this year and two years from now we're going to see something really fabulous happen and I can't tell you what it is because I don't know neither does Chris Bledsoe so you probably think damn it I want to know well you know what it's probably a moving target too depending on what you choose so please go into compassion and love and that person who you think is the biggest jackass on the planet help them offer your compassion and, and, you know, like, like my guy on the street, you know, go give him the sandwich. Go buy him the sandwich and treat him and call him sir and treat him as another amazing person because he is. There's no one above or below you. These things you shall do and more. You have the power of those amazing uh, prophets who have visited here. And also, that which you do to the least of us, you do to me. Christ said that. What are you doing to what you think is the least of us? That's your test. They're there to test you. They aren't a problem to society. Can you love them too? This is your biggest test. I know you can pass it. Just grab yourself and say, what am I thinking right now? It's programming. I can change that programming. You guys have seen these are free. I'm going to be doing some mini courses that's going to help you with this. These are, those are going to be coming out 
in a couple months. We are changing how we do business. Digital Explorers is my new business and I'm showing people how to completely change how we do business. We go into passion and we work on strictly creating businesses that we own, not chasing money, businesses that we own doing something amazing. We feel great about it. We create multiple income streams. We have no technology studies or training there. We have digital Sherpas that handle that for you. We focus just on the positive impact that we're going to make on the planet. And then we go into profits. How are we going to earn doing that? Because when we are abundant, then we can share that with the world. Right? No more money's evil and all that stuff. It's how you use it. Your intentions are everything. So get ready for some amazing things coming up. And when you watch these other videos, you're going to realize you really didn't hear all that much about details. And I know you guys want details, but you're creating them. So if you choose the new earth, wow, anything's possible. So start living it right now. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. I hope you'll subscribe because that keeps me growing my word to others that something beautiful is happening. Namaste.